Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do number 268, missing number. This is an easy level problem on Lee code and we're going to solve it in JavaScript. In this prompt, we're given an array of nums and it contains n distinct numbers in the range of O to n, return the only number in the range that is missing from the array. To put out more clearly, here's the example. Here's the nums, is an array, and we return two because n is the length of this array since there are three numbers. So there's a missing number between zero and three and two is that missing number. So we return two. And here's another example that it was kind of confusing at first, but here the end, the length is two. So it goes from zero to two and two is that missing number. So we return two. So there's a way I solved it at first using hash tables but that wasn't O of one a space. And using the O of one space, it's more tricky. I didn't think it was very intuitive, but it's a way to solve the problem. And what we're gonna do is that to solve it in O of one time, you wanna create a running sum and that's gonna hold, that's the variable we need. So first we wanna create some variable and it starts off at zero. And afterwards we loop through nums. But the key here, we want to include the, the length of the nums because it, that's what the, the possible numbers are. And inside of this, we want to have a running sum. So we want to add sum to the current and to the i, what we're looking at. And then to keep, to have it balanced, we want to subtract it, but not every time. So we add it to the running sum. So this one first is zero. So we add zero. And then if we create condition, condition, if I is less than nums, the, the length of nums, we want to subtract, subtract current index value from sum. So we're gonna do this up until we get to the last length. And because the last one, we're gonna add it to sum and that's the answer we need. So before that, we're gonna subtract the value. So we look at this one. So example, we loop through here, current index value is zero, sum plus zero is zero. And then we minus the value. So it'll be negative three. And next we look at here, sum is, it is the current index of one. So that's the value it should be and one, we add it, so it's negative two, and then we subtract zero from it and it's still negative two. So we'll do that until we get to the last one. And then once we get to the last one, this sum is what's the missing value needed to add to make it complete. So that is what we need. And lastly, we return sum. So first we create the sum, that sum equals zero. And then we loop through nums for that i equals zero, i is less than or equal to nums dot length, i plus plus. And inside of this, we add sum, sum plus equal to i. And then we create the condition if i is less than nums dot length, i sum minus equal nums index of i, and then we return sum. Great, so just the basic idea, we, we create a running sum of this and we subtract what it actually is. And we're using the index values as a measure of what it's supposed to be. So, this the time complexity we're just doing a for loop here so it's going to be o of one and then with the space complexity i mean sorry o of n complexity will be o of one because we're just creating a constant variable so that is how we solve this problem thank you